everybody, it's Claire back with another art journal page. Um, today I'm playing with some um, alcohol inks. I'm using the three colours, Fiesta, Dandelion and Aquamarine. Um, so first I'm going to add some alcohol blending solution to some Upo paper. Um, and this just helps the alcohol inks blend and move around. Um, this is a really new media to, medium to me. I'm still learning about it and um, yeah, it's fascinating. I love the way they move and blend together. Uh, it's fascinating. So there's so much to uh, to learn. So this is all like just playing really and seeing what happens. So the puff air puffer that I'm using, that's from Tim Holtz. Um, that's just to help move them around and um, and just sort of help them to blend together. So you can see that I'm just moving the inks here and there while they're still damp. Um, if I needed to reactivate them, I could have put some more blending solution on. As you can see, I did just there up in that uh, top corner. Um, but using three colours, and I've, surprise, surprise, created a rainbow. Um, just adding a bit more down the bottom there, and just moving them around. So don't forget, if you are using alcohol inks, you need to use them in a well-ventilated room. They do have quite a strong smell, um, so that's just something that's good to remember. When you like what you've got, you need to dry it and fix it in place. Um, then, I'm just using a dotting tool and some isopropyl alcohol, and just dro dropping some little bits of the alcohol solution onto the alcohol inks, and... The isopropyl alcohol moves the inks out of the way, um, creating like almost like little raindrops. So I was just playing with seeing what happened. And then after I'd done with the isopropyl alcohol, I then added some dots of the actual alcohol ink colour over the top, just sort of seeing what effect that would create. And I quite like this sort of puddle, the puddly effect of the isopropyl alcohol and how it makes the inks move out of the way. So then I'm just doing the same with um, the isopropyl alcohol and dotting tools. You could use the end of a paintbrush. It doesn't have to be a dotting tool. Um, but these do work quite well. Um, and you can see the effect is, is really cool. It's fascinating watching them spread. Um, yeah, so I'm doing the same there. And then I... Um, did the same, added some yellow colour back on top of the dots. Although this one wasn't as easy to see. But this is the dandelion colour that I'm adding back on. So you can expect lots more uh, videos from me playing with alcohol inks. Um, I want to find lots of ways to use them in my art journal. Um, so uh, and that's a heads up about where I'll be heading with alcohol inks. There'll probably be more videos of this. Um, and here we are. I'm just doing the same again in another place on the page. Um, and then, so initially using the isopropyl alcohol, and then I will be adding some dots of colour over the top. really pretty effect. Yeah, and now I'm just adding some of the Fiesta colour back on top of the places where I have moved the ink out of the way with the alcohol solution. That blue up at the top almost looks like icebergs. And here I'm just using a really small fan brush and I was gently tap I put it in the isopropyl alcohol and gently tapped it onto the page, creating more little dots. Then I stuck it in my journal using double-sided tape and um, I decided that I wanted a face on this page, which is no surprise really. Um, and, but I didn't want to cover up what was there, so I decided I would draw a face onto acetate. So I sketched out what I wanted to draw first onto this piece of rough paper and then drew over it using the Jane Davenport um, ink pen. 
This is the one that um, when it dries, it's waterproof. Then I cut it out and I just taped it into my journal using a couple of pieces of washi tape. I loved the background so much, I didn't want to hide it by sticking things over the top, but I still wanted to have that focal image on the page. Then these letters are from Scrap FX. They are one of their transparencies, and um, this is where I'm going to really mess with your heads. I was looking for the letters Courage, but because I've already used some of the letters, I didn't have all the ones that I wanted, but I knew that I could alter some of these ones to um, make the letters say what I wanted. There we go, sorted. Um, then I stuck those in just using a little bit of um, gel matte medium, which will dry clear so you won't see that once it's dry. And then wrote my quote around the face. Um, so you could still see the background through the face and you could lift the face out of the way to see the nice alcohol ink background as well. I found it was really easy to write on top of the alcohol inks. So I shall be experimenting and seeing what else you can do over the top in other videos. So courage is what it takes to stand up and speak. It is also what it takes to sit and listen. And that was Winston Churchill. And then just a little bit of text stamping onto the face. And there it is. The final page with another rainbow. No surprises there. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video.